What's up guys, Nick here, and today I want to show you the drum editor in Studio 1.4, which is a new feature that was recently added with the major update that came uh, with Studio 1. So before I go forward, I just want to ask you guys to subscribe to my channel. I think that'd be awesome. I'm really close to 100 subs where I get my own channel name and I would love it if you would subscribe, help me out, that'd be awesome. I've been putting out uh, regular content lately and I want to keep doing that and if you guys keep subscribing and liking my videos and watching them then it gives me a reason to keep doing it. Alright, so let's go forward and check out the drum editor here in Studio One Four. So this is the new drum editor view and in previous versions of Studio One the MIDI editing was pretty basic and version 4 uh, definitely had a pretty big overhaul to how we edit MIDI in Studio One which was much needed in my opinion so I was pretty happy to see some of the new features uh, that we got and the drum editor here is one of these new features so if I go to the regular view here you can see it's just a normal piano roll or m instrument part which we were used to uh, working with in previous versions of Studio One but now when we click on this drum mode we get this uh, different view and you can see here that uh, painting notes in looks a little different it's a little easier to see so if we click on this pencil tool the paint tool or hit number three on uh, your keyboard you get this little drumstick so you can uh, paint in notes really easily or delete them you can change the size of this of course so you can audition notes by just clicking them here you can uh, click this audition notes checkbox here if you don't want to hear the notes being uh, if you don't want to hear the notes sound out every time you input a note into the editor it can kind of get annoying when you're doing a lot of hats and stuff so you can turn that off and on if you want and then we can also change uh, the timing of our uh, grid here. So if you want to put in triplets, let's say, let's change this to 1 8 triplet. So now we have, uh, we can put in a triplet there on the kick. So let's listen to this uh, little loop here. And uh, so that doesn't sound good with what's going on there, but yeah, you can definitely. Uh, change the grid here to suit your needs uh, so you can input the notes and the proper timing so that's that's really handy really useful and it's it's no different than uh, how we edited MIDI before in the, the piano roll but yeah if you need to insert triplets or whatever this is where you you, you adjust your grid here under the quantize drop box here and you just set it to the appropriate uh, interval that you want to use for your notes. So this is the basic drum loop that we have going and we're just using impact for the sounds. So one of the cool things that they added is this synchronized editor to arrangement. So before uh, if you made a change here uh, it wouldn't be reflected up here and vice versa. But now if you click on this button that's changed. So if I change the view of this up here, down here, it's going to uh, adjust to uh, what I'm doing up here. So it's really great when you're trying to find a new spot to edit and you go to it and you don't have to uh, find it again down here. This will synchronous. As you can see, like when I'm scrolling, this scrolls with it. If I change the view here, like uh, toggle to overview, you can see the view of my um, drum editor here corresponds to what I'm doing up here. So this uh, button right here, the synchronize button, is a super handy feature that they added. So let's check out some other stuff that makes the drum editor handy for editing your drums. So one of the things uh, that you can do is change the note color here. And this is a new feature here. You can do this on the regular uh, instrument parts here as well. You can change the note color. So let's go back here to the drum editor and we can uh, change it to the velocity. So this is really handy when you're editing your drums, you have your basic drum loop, 
now you can see what the velocity is of all the hits so you can see here on uh, this channel here we got a lot of different velocity and we can see visually uh, which notes are being hit harder and which notes are being hit lighter which is really great so let's uh, highlight this lane and you can see here so purple is low blue is kind of a little bit harder then we got yellow green and then red so it goes purple blue yellow re green and red or sorry purple blue yellow oh man I am terrible at this right now so it goes purple blue green yellow orange red so that's the progression from light to heavy from purple to red so that's how you can easily see uh, what the velocity is of these hits so let's go here to the kick and let's edit it so you can see here let's make this one let's make these initial hits a lot harder so you can see right away what is going on here uh, in terms of our dynamics so that makes it a lot easier to edit your drums uh, visually another great thing is that when you click a lane you get access to each individual uh, to the automation here individually so you don't have to like before you had to edit all the automation globally so you have to select manually the notes that you wanted to edit and then go through and edit them sometimes you would uh, select extra notes and that would mess things up so uh, now we can just click which element we want to edit the automation for and boom we have it right there and it makes it really easy speeds things up quite a bit so that's a really great new feature that we have here in uh, Studio One 4 uh, with the drum editor here and you can also do that with the pattern editor which is uh, very handy very handy so uh, what else can we do another thing that we can do is we can change the view here as well so if you click on this uh, little notepad here you can click on hide unused and that just shows us all the hits that we're using so it makes it a lot easier to do your automation after you've created your uh, drum loop uh, if you're uh, still writing out your drum loop you can just go to the default and that'll show you all the active notes that you have in your sampler um, Impact to or Impact XT is great to use with the drum editor because it just automatically populates and colors the notes based on what you have in Impact. So uh, that definitely speeds things up. And they've added a lot of samples uh, to Impact XT. So it's definitely a lot, uh, a very usable uh, instrument now in Studio One Four. So I definitely urge you to check it out and play around with it. It's a it's a good sampler with a lot of good sounds. A lot of fun to start making some music and then show all that'll just show all available MIDI notes um, so yeah that's pretty cool another thing you can do is edit these so you can edit the order edit the name edit the colors enable disable things like that so that's that's pretty cool um, and then you can save uh, when you're in uh, you can also save uh, these presets, but um, I guess not an impact. You can do that with other instruments. Like if you have Superior and you edit this, you click here and you'll be able to actually uh, store your your custom uh, order of your notes here and recall it later. Just uh, it's like the pitch names. Like you were able to do it uh, in previous versions of Studio One. I, if you ever loaded your custom pitch names into uh, the drum mode in previous versions of Studio One, uh, that's basically the same idea here. So that is basically all there is to the drum editor. It's not that complicated. There's nothing really to it. Um, so it's pretty basic and uh, it works well. It, it's easy to use. It's easy to make a drum part uh, with it and modify it. I think um, that's, I like to use the pattern editor myself for writing out uh, basic drum ideas, but uh, you can actually convert your patterns into instrument parts so what I would probably do is uh, write out my uh, instrument part or my drum part in the pattern mode and once I like everything convert it to drum mode and do a lot more of my automation uh, in here for uh, the final once the song is more uh, complete and towards the end do a lot more of the fine the fine tuning 
uh, in this mode because the just the visual response that you get from these colors really definitely helps uh, you see what's going on overall in the entire in, in the context of the song. So. Uh, I think that's a pretty useful uh, feature that they added here. They definitely can uh, improve it, and I'm sure with subsequent uh, patches, we'll see uh, good improvements to these new features that we have in Studio One. But yeah, that is the drum editor here. Um, I haven't, honestly, I personally haven't used it too much because I've been uh, using the pattern mode a lot more. I've been really enjoying the the patterns that they added here in Studio One Four. So that's what I've been really tinkering around with a lot more. But uh, this drum editor mode is pretty cool. Uh, I definitely really like uh, what we can do with the pitch names here. Change the uh, the note color to the velocity to get a, a good idea of what our dynamics are doing. And I wonder what this black selection. I guess. Uh, I guess this just uh, black selection. Oh, okay, this just changes. So if you change this to black selection, that just changes the color of our selected notes. So this works better for me since I have a dark background. I, th I like this. It's, I think with the white one, it's kind of, I don't know, kind of gets lost. So I'm definitely going to use this black selection. That works a lot better for me. Yeah, there we go. And is there anything else to check out? I mean, there's this stuff, but it's basically quantizing and changing uh, the grid and how it looks. So uh, if you want to change it to samples or seconds or frames or whatever, uh, you can change the grid to correspond to how you want it. Insert and edit your your MIDI notes here. So yeah, that's, that's it. That's the drum editor. So I hope you found this video useful. Uh, like and subscribe like I asked before that'd be awesome very close to hitting a hundred subs and hopefully keep growing from there and I'll keep making videos about cool stuff in Studio One and other uh, home recording related topics so I'll see you guys next time